Hi guys, it's me back with another Transformers toy review. This time I'm having a look at Terminus Giganticus, which is from Fans Toys. Um, this is their version of a kind of masterpiece, masterpiece scaled, sorry, um, Mega Supreme. It comes in two packs. Um, you can get them both together. I think the idea was to kind of spread the cost out, um, but he ended up being fairly reasonable for the size and quality figure that he is. Um, so I'll show you the two boxes. Obviously, this is the figure out of the box. And one in the first one, I think you get the tank and the kind of tracks, I think. And in the second one, you get kind of the shoulder piece and the cannon and all the rest of the stuff. Um, so I'll kind of take you through it and show you everything. So I've got a kind of a bit of a different setup here just so I can show you everything as best as I can. So uh, show you the boxes there, see if that comes up in shot. <clears throat> like that. So uh, they're both pretty, pretty big. Uh, just to give you an idea of scale, so I'll be doing a few scale ones throughout. I've got loads of figures side by side. So the box is about as big as Devastator. There, he's got managed to get a few cobwebs on him, um, and about as wide. And that's with the kind of add-on kit as well. I'll probably split this video up into different sections, so different videos. So I'll do one kind of showing off the robot mode, articulation, uh, all the lights and sounds, and obviously the packaging. And then we'll do another one, and I'll do a size comparison as well. And then we'll do another video where we'll be doing um, transformation and alt modes and so on. Um, so, yeah, you've got the same picture on both sides, uh, one in red and uh, one in blue. And you see we've got um, A and B on here. They've both got, um, this one's slightly bigger here, this one. You've got a picture on the side there. And then you get um, pitch, further pictures on the back with like a bio. And if I turn this one around here as well, you get the same thing on the back. And uh, if you're probably not able to read it from here, but it says uh, Terminus Giganticus is among the last of the titanic sentinel robots who guarded the metropolises of dying worlds, of, of, of his dying world, sorry. Uh, betrayal at the hands of those closest to him led to the destruction of his city, leaving him dour and melancholy, but no less dedicated to his defensive cause. Sentinels are nigh indestructible and capable of unimaginable devastation. Should he choose, Terminus can flatten landscapes or obliterate cities. A head-mounted cannon later protects him from air against aerial assault while his clawed hand applies 50,000 tonnes of pressure to crush armoured foes. Nothing on earth can withstand, withstand him, uh, withstand his arm cannon's blast as packets of plasma superheated to 2 billion degrees Celsius melt through anything they impact to oblivion. Nearly there, guys. Uh, Terminus becomes a laser tank and launch pad with a rocket capable of interstellar travel. Though most, most of him is left behind, he is somehow able to assemble his full robot form at his destination. Scientists cannot explain this phenomenon, though some theory, uh, some theorise he tucks away most of his mass in another dimension during travel. He doesn't know himself, nor does he care. And um, you've got the same bio written across those, and you've got a couple of different scan pieces. Fan Toys 2007 got their website address on there, and bits and pieces. So, and they're in like a um, polystyrene uh, casing for both of them. So I'll move those two out of the way here, so we can get rid of those for now. And then I'll readjust the camera so you can see him. I think that's, 
as good as we're going to get it. He does come with a few other bits. So he comes with this um, kind of uh, mask piece, which uh, the one that he's got on there has got, got a slight uh, kind of yellow, orangey tinge to it. So you've got a see-through one. And you've got this chest piece here, which is uh, kind of a red um, plastic piece with um, painted orange in here, as opposed to this translucent piece. So you can swap those two out. He does also come with a text spec card here. And it's got the same bio on the back there. I don't know if you can see that so well. You get that. And then you get his instructions here as well, which actually are pretty decent to be fair. Although most of the stuff that shows you is from is from robot, robot mode to base mode. Um, but I'll show you the show you the figure and then we'll do some articulation and I'll show you a few other figures in terms of size comparison. So the head here rotates around and if you want to you can rotate it all the way around. This bit lifts up here and then you do have lights on the back here, it's like a little switch which you do have to put batteries into. For tank mode it does move this bit around here so it's on the back and that's where you've got the light switch. And it's fairly easy just to manipulate it around. So in a minute I'll get all the lights turned on because there's a few different lights um, which you need batteries for. Uh, this is a solid piece here which is plugged into the back here. Um, and they're kind of these bits are kind of pegged onto the back here. The arms, I'll try not to get everything in the way. They're all ratcheted. And it's super strong. And you know, obviously if you decide to have these out of the way, you could go all the way around. Ratchets to the side. Gets you all the way out to there. Bend the arm all up to there so you get 45 there. You do get another ratchet here to rotate it all the way around and you can go all the way around. There's lots of paint on here so you've got gunmetal grey on here, you've got these tampos on his arm, silver in here, gunmetal grey in here. So these kind of remind you of the original toy. Gunmetal grey in here, orange paint in here and here, round here as well and more paint on here. Obviously his face is really well painted as well. Uh, it's uh, extremely well done with the silver and the orange in there and the head sculpt is absolutely spot on. Close that down. Um, obviously the same on the other side. I will show you the, the claw mechanism in a minute. You do, let's have a look. Do you get, yeah you do get waist articulation which can go all the way around. I'll go around to the other side and uh, show you his claw. While we're at it, I'll just bring Devastator in just to show you kind of where he comes up. Obviously Devastator is in front, so just to let me put him to the side so you can see him. Side by side. And uh, yeah, that's not bad, is it? Um, obviously you make a supreme is quite a bit taller than him and a few other size comparisons just to get them out of the way because I've got them here this is the uh, defense all one with the add-on kit and uh, got the year of the snake and make a supreme There's quite a big size difference there. Um, who else have we got? We do have let's move him up a little bit just so we can get other people in. Yeah, so you can see Fortress Maximus there, they're pretty much the same size, so he is kind of tight and fast. So um, 
I'm not a big masterpiece collector, but so I think it still fits in quite well with the other guys. And then you've got Metroplex here as well. That's the one with the unique toys, head upgrade and the kind of weapons and things like that. So that's that one. Um, and then we do also have Trypticon. show you him alongside a few different size classes I've also got this is a kind of G Creations um, Grimlock I've got a few different size figures so I've got a Voyager figure here Deluxe size. Legends. And a few left to do size comparison wise. Uh, if I bring in a couple of others and then I'll continue with the articulation. Leader Crafts Optimus Prime. And combining walls with the uh, kind of perfect effect upgrade there, and then last but not least, let's bring in old Scorponok. So this is Make Toys Pandness as a final uh, size comparison there. So you can see the two of them side by side. And uh, you know, that Pandness is a big old bot, but uh, looking at him on camera, he does make him look a little bit diddy there, doesn't he? So that is that. That's a truck going. So I'll show you articulation on the hand and then we'll get some of the lights turned on as well. So so we'll say articulation on here. But with this one you get core comes in, you get another bit here and another piece of articulation here, like that, so you can get quite a lot of movement in and around with it. Like people have mentioned it head moves around. The legs, so you can kind of get this in and out movement here. Um, I'll come around to the other side to, to show you it. He's slightly leaning back there, but on the whole he is pretty sturdy. Sorry, because this, this is so big I can't use my normal setup, so I'm having to walk around this huge table just to try and show you everything. Right, so I'm going to have to lean on the table a little bit I think. Yeah, articulation wise the leg comes in and out here, lifts up to about there, back all the way. Get a bend in the knee here, and it goes back to about right there. So not quite 45, about halfway in between really. The legs are quite hard to manoeuvre just because of the size of them, um, but he is pretty solid. If I bring him down here, you can see at the bottom of this. If you can, there's like a there's a little trap. There's a little Thing now on here and these feet do kind of come out so you do have a tilt you don't have a bend forward there but um, it does make him 
pretty solid. And you can go get them however you want. So you can get them in some pretty cool kind of action poses, I think. So you can kind of have them lean forward if you want to. That side there, ready to attack. Which is more probably than you would get from um, any of the other ones of that size and ilk. So articulation wise he is pretty decent. Now I'll show you all the light up functions. There's a few to go through. Um, they all require two of these elite, um, like battery light things. So I'll show you. You pull, you pull this bit out of here, like this, and there's a little switch on here. You basically pull this up to get the thing on. So you see, you've got that on. And you've got a light going through there. Come up here, open this bit up here, switch the lights on here. Got those on. I'll come around to the side. So, I don't know if you can see all of those. If you can't, what I'll do is I'll put them all on and then I'll turn the lights off. Again in here, little switch. In there. Uh, this one here, there's another one in here, which is very difficult to get to and open up. Um, so I've tended had to use a knife or some thing like that just to get that bit open there. And basically you've got like this matrix compartment in here, which um, you switch on here and then you can actually put a little matrix in there should you wish to and it lights up like that which hopefully you can see if I turn off the lights hopefully you can make out all the different lights in this hand in there the probably ones that you can't make out are the ones there which I just you see his eyes are lighting up and some closer looks at the LEDs in there. So you get all together, it's uh, four lots. Well, all together, it's, it's four lots of batteries, but it's two in each. So you want two, four, six, eight lots of batteries, okay? And then just to switch them off, you can do in here. Obviously, you can leave this. On like that. Let's close that in. Okay. Then open this bit up here. And if you can't work out how to grab it, just turn it round. Bring it down like that. Put these out. Like that. And then last but not least, turn off the last one. Which you can get to from here. And then that is all done. So there you are, that is Omega Supreme and his uh, robot mode. Uh, pretty impressed. I've obviously added a, an Autobot single symbol on the top there just to uh, make him look more official. Um, as mentioned, there are a, there is a lot of paints. You've got orange paint in here, gunmetal and silver in here. Silver, gunmetal, all bits and pieces detailed in here. Uh, you get gunmetal bits on the legs here. Again, more orange paint here, gunmetal down at the feet here, 
silver bits in between and more of these tampo stickers on here. This is an optional bit which you can add on, which just kind of plugs in at the top here. And obviously this piece here is the one that you can replace with a solid red piece if you do want to. Um, yeah, that's about it guys for now. Um, hope you've enjoyed kind of part one. And next up, we'll have a look at uh, transformation in the next video. And then the next one, we'll have a look at it in base mode. Thanks for watching and see you all soon.